Heart disease is the number one killer of men and women in the United States. Patients often need multiple medications. However, managing these medications, including dosage, side effects, and possible drug interactions with other medications can be overwhelming. Dr. John Bridges, Director of Pharmacy at Baptist Women's Hospital, is here to give us the lowdown on managing heart disease meds. Welcome. Oh, thank you, Dr. Kustler. Now, uh, on, when in, anybody picks up a prescription, it says on there, take with food or not take with food. Now, how imp important is that when uh, you're taking your medication, especially heart medicines? Uh, when you take your medications, and also whether you take it with food or not, can be very important depending on the medication. Uh, an example would be statins, which we take for high cholesterol. Uh, if we take it in the morning, it may not be quite as effective as if we take it in the evening, where you're, at night we tend to make more of our cholesterol then, so it's better to take it at night rather than uh, in the morning. What about, uh, you know, often here, don't take medicine with grapefruit juice. What's that all about? Oh, uh, again, that's a very common problem. Uh, and again, statins is a good example. If you take your Zocor, your Simba statin, with grapefruit juice, it actually will help. It actually gives a higher level of the statins, which may actually uh, cause more side effects. Now, on, oftentimes on bottles that say, take this on an empty stomach, what are some examples of medicines that we need to take without food? Uh, most common ones that you take without food are antibiotics, although there are some that you need to take with food, uh, uh, the different type of erythromycins and amoxicillins. Many times you need to take those with food, but uh, it actually, on an empty stomach, helps the absorption of your medication, so it's better to take it without it. The ones you take with food, many times they cause nausea, and the food will help prevent the nausea. Now, I've had patients before, they'll uh, say, oh, I, I didn't know I was supposed to take it on an empty stomach or not. Uh, I've been taking that with food. How much does that really impact the effectiveness and absorption of the medicine? Uh, some medications you take with food and it'll have uh, no real absorption problem at all. Uh, others, it can either cause it not to be absorbed because it binds it uh, and it can dramatically reduce the amount of the medication you get like Digitalis or Lanoxin is a brand name for it. You need to take it on an empty stomach. But yet a common antiarrhythmic is amiodarone and you should take it with food. So they need to pay attention to what's Absolutely. on the label. Absolutely. Now, another question that we often hear is, I've got this medicine that's two years old. Is it still okay for me to take? When is it really too old and I should throw it away? Well, most medications will have an expiration date as they come from the manufacturer, and it's generally in the two-year range. But you never know how long the pharmacy's had it. They may have had it a year, so it may only be a year. So. Uh, unless the pharmacy puts the actual, actual, the actual expiration date on the bottle, you don't know that for sure. Safe rule is one year, two years, it, it may